Hello and God bless my brothers and sisters. Today's message comes with a huge urgency. I'm not sure how many of you um, have been experiencing such tribulation lately. We can tell we're getting so close because every day I am getting tempted. I am getting these thoughts in my head that aren't of my own. I'm, I find that I'm, I'm apologizing, I'm repenting and rebuking at the same time. It's just constant. Um, my dreams and visions have gone haywire. That is living proof that we are going to be going soon. I mean, it, it, the tribulation is on its way. It really is. Uh, I'm, and if you're clicked on this, and I, I have a feeling that you guys also have been experiencing the same thing. And if you have, we need to stick together now. This is when we have to we have to get ready for the fight that we have in front of us. We have to get ready. So that when we ride back down with our Lord on that horse, we, we are one of his true soldiers, guys. Okay? This is it. This is what this is what it's all been about. And we're coming right before it's right before our very eyes. As I said, if you're finding that you are, are weary, that you're getting worn out, um oh, sometimes I just want to sleep all the time because my head is to I, I I've spoken a lot, I sometimes I feel like my my, my brain is like mash. Um and I'm normally a stronger person than that. And and what it is, the hand, the seal of the hand of the Holy Spirit hasn't been lifted yet. So imagine what it's going to be like once it is. So now, now, brothers and sisters, please join with me. Join with me on this. Write something in the comments if you're actually feeling that, um, you, that this has been happening to you. If you feel like you're being attacked, write in the comments and we can all pray for each other. Okay? If we all pray for each other, we all stick together, we all stand united. We know we're on the winning side. You see, we've been raised thinking of all these horror movies and stuff that the devil is so powerful. Let's not forget, he was an angel, okay? A, an angel, a single angel, okay? He's got nothing on Michael, <laughs> and he's definitely not God and Jesus. He is an ant. He is not even an ant. We can defeat him just on our own with the Holy Spirit in us. Imagine it united, what we can do, Okay? He can let all these little demons run amok, but we can be stronger than him. In fact, we are stronger than him. There's no two ways about it. We're on the winning side, and we are filled with the Holy Spirit. God bless us. Hallelujah. We are now at the end times, people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have a look at this picture. Have a look. Can you see yourself there? I can. I know I can, and I can see you riding next to me. You all. I can see us all riding on this horse. I can see us all riding behind our Lord. What a great feeling. You see, this one world religion that they're going to have for their three and a half years, <laughs> oh, my goodness. They think they're going to find peace and love for their three and a half years, which is all false. It's only just a mock-up of what we are actually going to experience where we're going, we're going to have peace and love for eternity, for each other. We are, we're going to know nothing but peace and love forever. So get together, guys. Come on. We're at the end. We're on the home straight here, right? We need to join together. I've actually done in one of my previous videos something that we can actually help beat Satan on this. And I'll just quickly go through it again now. Basically. Only Jesus and God are omnipresent, okay? They can be in a million places at once. The devil can only be in one place at once. Let's not forget, when we pray, when we pray and we pray out loud, he can also hear. So that's good. Let him know. Let him know whose side we're on. Let him know that we're filled with the Holy Spirit when we pray. When we're praising our Lord, when we're praising God, let him know what what God means to us. Let him know that we are filled with the Holy Spirit and he can't penetrate us, okay? Whenever we have this time that's going on now when we're feeling um, that we're being attacked and we're feeling a bit vulnerable, pray in our minds, okay? Not out loud. The reason being is that only God, only God and Jesus can read our mind. They're the only ones who can read our mind. The devil cannot read our mind. The devil can install uh, thoughts and, and things into our mind, but he does not know what we're thinking. That's where we've got the upper hand, guys. We need to use that. We've got the upper hand. So if he hears you speaking about your vulnerabilities and how you're and how we're tired and how we're he's just gonna 
focus on that and actually drive it more into us. Whereas if we speak in our mind when we pray to our Lord of any insecurities, right, the devil can't hear, all right? So trust, trust in our faith, trust in, trust in each other. That's what we need to do. We need to trust in each other. We are all part of the same flock and I love you all. And I am so looking forward to riding a horse right next to you, brother and sister. I am so looking forward to meeting you all. I love you all. And it's the same faith. We are all from different countries. I'm in Australia. And, and we are from all over the world. We've never met each other, but yet we have this love and this faith. 